So, I had a dream last night, and what happened in the dream, it was a rapture dream. So what happened was, we were walking out of a store. So the first part of the dream was, there we were walking down, um, we were walking in the city, like, um, in Philly, and we saw a lion. There was like a lion walking down the street and I picked it up as if it was like small, but it was a big male size of lion and had a mane and everything. And the second part of the dream was when we were walking out of a store, we were walking out of a store and we heard the trumpet sound. Da -doo, da -doo. That's exactly how you heard it? Mm -hmm. Like, it was like, Can you do it exactly how you heard it? I heard. Doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. You heard it twice. Yeah, and, and I heard it fade out. Okay. And then we're like, it's really happening. We've been waiting for this so long. It's finally happening. And then we saw, I saw a giant hand, a, a cloud shaped like a hand coming up. So like, it's like we were here and then the cloud was up here and it was coming toward us, mm. um, me and my family. And it was coming toward us and then it started dividing into um, smaller hands. And um, we didn't see Jesus or anything, but what we had to do is like go in laundry machines and bring food and water and then he would take us up. And then um, the Holy Jesus um, and the Holy Spirit would take us up that way, and that's what we did. So we were in our PJs and we went. We were in our PJs and we went home to our house. And we were in the garage. We we have. Um, we we're in the garage. Um, so the the scene changes. Uh -huh. So you said they were walking into washing machines or laundry mats. Um, no, we we went and we were in our garage. We were inside of our garage. No, before that, you oh, said that you were that? we were walking in in you said washing machines. Um, no, there was like a bunch a line of washing machines and like dryers and stuff. Uh huh. Washing machines and um, dryer machines, and um, we had like some biscuits and like some waters in a Ziploc bag and some. Um, snacks in a Ziploc bag and some water and we were in our pajamas and we had like a pillow in there um so there was just like a line um there's like a ladder in between the in between the garage instead of the ladder was a line of machines oh but the garage looked the same and we were all going in there and like all of them had like snacks and water inside and it was night so the lights were onto the garage and it was nighttime out we could see through the window of our garage um it was nighttime but when i but my then my dad took me outside and um it was morning outside um so from the window it was nighttime and then and when we walked out it was morning it was the same time and we were going, we have a walkway, and we are going down the deck, out through the walkway, and the tra they're like three trash bins, and they were all like turned down. And I said, I told my dad, where's the lion um, that, that I had? And, from the first scene. Yeah, from the first uh -huh. part of the dream. And he said, oh, I killed it and threw it away. And I was like, why did you do that? And um, I could see the outline of the lion's face. Mm, and what he, did it look like? Like, it was just like an outline of the lion's face. And how big was it? It was like... Mm, like a little mini or lion or like I a guess pig. on the nose, mm -hmm. the outline of the nose, like the whole face. Because mm -hmm. he put it in a trash bag. Oh, dad did? Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and that's it? And that's the end of the dream. Okay, is there anything you want people to know? Yes. Jesus is coming sooner than you think, and 
You might doubt it because it's taking an eternity. But God, when God promises something, it could take a long time or not. It's because Abraham had to wait a very, very, very long time for the son God promised, for the son God promised um, him and his wife Sarah. And he started to get a bit impatient, but then the promise came. So Jesus said he was going to come back for us. And it, it could take two months or two years. It doesn't matter how long it's going to take. But when Jesus said something, when Jesus promises something, he keeps his word. And he's gonna, he said he's going to come back, and he is going to come back. And for unbelievers, Jesus is coming 